Yes, hello the guys, girls, people of the internet and the YouTube gaming community. My name is Beepa Gaming, and today we've got some brand new information on the mission structure of Assassin's Creed Origins. And I'm going to go into it talking about the main story, the side quests, and also some different DLC tidbits that could be in Assassin's Creed Origins. So if you enjoyed the video, click the like button down below and subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Origins gameplay. So let's get straight into the video. So this is all coming from IGN first, where they are getting brand new information for Assassin's Creed Origins straight away. So the first and most prominent change coming to Origins is its fast and loose quest system. In previous Assassin's Creed games, you would have main missions, which in their function were an icon on the map that would trigger a unique encounter with exclusion zones, out of bound areas and failure conditions that you could only get out of by backing out to the menu. In short, once you opted into a mission, you are going to do that mission, until it's done, or you fail, or desynchronize because you get caught on a fence and your target gets too far away. In Origins, that is all gone. Now, but in Origins, you can start and stop any mission or side quest at any time. In Assassin's Creed Origins, the developers have moved away from the strict mission into a quest-based system. You can start or stop any main or side quest at any time. You can be working toward a quest, run into a character in the world that asks you for help, and go off on that new adventure, while your original assignment will wait for you to come back to it. This means the notion of exclusivity is gone, allowing you to jump into unlocked between whatever you want to do. That also allows for interesting interplay when it comes to completing objectives. For example, if you're on a quest to kill a warlord, while you've been given another quest to tame a crocodile and kill an enemy with it, sizing your pet crocodile on your target warlord effectively kills two birds with one stone, or two quests with one very fat crocodile in this case. Ubisoft Montreal has stressed that it's blurring the lines between main missions and side objectives. While there does exist a distinction between the main and side quests, the studio dedicated the main to making sure that someone who does both shouldn't feel a categorical difference in production value, experience, surprise or interesting things. Some of the quests are very simple or appear very simple, but lead to all sorts of interesting twists and turns. What we want the player to think, <laughs> I don't think what I'm going to see, but there's value to doing them, said John Gerson creative director on Assassin's Creed Origin. Now, narrative characters can reference other characters tied to quests, and links can be created that way, forging a chain of interaction that sends you all over. This is very important for us, Gibson said. It will allow us to meet hundreds of characters that depict Egypt. Recreating Egypt, we feel the need to meet all characters to show the diversity of the world. And those characters and the quests they open for Bayek are leaning into a more mature tone. While missions of a lighter tone are very still much present throughout the game, as evident by IGN's recent 18 minute side quest gameplay. Many of these missions underscore the overall mature theme of the world and the story reflecting the brutality of the period. Now what does this mean? This means that if you're going to do a side quest, you can complete that or you can continue on with your main mission at the same time. This means, as said previously, you can have a side quest where you have to tame an animal and then kill someone with that animal. But you can do that while completing the main mission. You can call the animal to you to attack your main assassination target, which just sounds amazing. And this game, this story line, this whole quest aspect of Origins truly shows to me that they are, they are creating one of the best games that they can possibly create and for me I haven't played the game yet but it already seems to be game of the year material. The guys and girls that has been my video on Assassin's Creed Origins, the quest and storyline mission concept. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, if you haven't click that like button down below, comment what mission you want to be able to play in Assassin's Creed Origins and guys subscribe for more Assassin's Creed Origins gameplay, information and theory videos and all round Assassin's Creed videos. Bye for now guys, have an amazing day and I'll see you in the next video.